My name is Lance Dixon. I'm a theoretical physicist at SLAC. I've worked at SLAC for 30 years, and I've been interested in exactly how particles behave when we smash them together in giant particle accelerators. Theorists love formulas even more than they love coffee. And this mug has a formula for the standard model. Standard model tells us what happens when we smash elementary particles together in giant particle accelerators. Like detectives, experimenters analyze the particle debris created in the powerful collisions and reconstruct what exactly happened. From the collision data, theorists build mathematical models. This brings us to another formula known as the energy-energy correlation, or EEC. The EEC measures how much energy in the form of particles goes into two detectors placed at a specific angle to each other. The result provides key experimental evidence for the behaviour of quarks, the particles that make up protons and neutrons. So for particle colliders with electrons and their antimatter siblings positrons, we've known since the 1970s how to write a formula for the most important contribution to this energy-energy correlation. Now, Lance Dixon, along with former postdoc Hua Jingju and collaborators, have figured out the formula for the biggest correction to EEC in decades. It's a formula their paper calls remarkably simple. So simple, in fact, Lance offered to write it down. Now we gotta go to the next port. Formulas are important because they shed light on certain situations where numerical approximations fail. For example, with our new formula, we can study carefully the situation in which two particles fly out almost back to back, or the opposite situation where they come out very close to each other in a narrow bundle of particles called a jet. Both situations are very important for electron-positron collisions, but the second one is particularly important for collisions at the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful particle accelerator. It produces huge numbers of jets. Mathematical models like EEC tell physicists what to expect from particle collisions, and knowing what to expect is the key to knowing when a collision has created something unexpected. With this, researchers can better understand how energy is distributed in jets, more accurately measure the strong nuclear force, or even help discover new particles. No matter what, it will help us better understand the world on its most fundamental level.